Hey, my name is Eric. I'm the lead maintainer of Directus. Here to tell you a little something about everything that's new in version 10.1. This release has over 70 new features, improvements, bug fixes, other optimizations. Um, so let's dive straight in. The first big part of this release is the release of the extensions that were previously exclusive to Directus Cloud. Uh, these include a panel bundle for insights that contains a bar chart, a line chart, a pie chart, which is also a donor chart, and a meter um, to add way more different ways for you to visualize your data within insights. The second big extension that was released to core is a Kanban view. By pointing it to a drop-down field or any sort of other select interface, um, it'll render out individual columns for you to drag and drop items between. This is great for project management and also other organizational purposes. The final extension is a new block editor interface. This interface allows you to edit your content in like a Notion style interface, and the data is stored in a clean JSON format. The file picker drawer has had a seemingly small but pretty big quality of life improvement in this release as well. When you're now selecting an image in one of the image interfaces, the file picker drawer now has the same sidebar you would find in the file library. This allows you to find the file that you're looking for by the folder that it's stored in. There's a new rate limiter type in the API based on server pressure. By the way, before, when your API was being overloaded, um, the node process eventually will slow down and the problem only gets worse. With this new rate limiter, you're able to configure the API to drop a request a little early when it notices that the server is heavily under pressure. In 10.1, we now default to ESM for API extension bundles as well. This means that there's a greater compatibility with other libraries in the Node ecosystem, including the ones that are provided by the Directus core team. We want to also thank our community for their contributions towards this release, including Tim for adding support for relational fields and field presets, Hannes for numerous contributions in this release, including an improvement to how related collections are displayed in the data model settings, um, including a bunch of other bug fixes as well. Arthur, who added a graceful shutdown of database connections in the Bootstrap CLI command, and Matthew and Maurice for helping with the documentation. Directus 10.1 is now available on NPM and Docker Hub, and will also be live on Directus Cloud in the next couple of days. That'll be all for release notes, and I'll see you next time.